So I bought these two aftermarket um, Ryobi battery packs. Six amp hours, it claims. I actually measured it um, using a slow discharge um, measuring gadget. Um, and it came out at just under that. It was about five point something, 5.8. So it's pretty good. I've had them since 2019. So I wrote the date on at the time. 1907. So yeah, um, but this one is still fine. You probably can't see that, but it's still showing full power and it works fine. This one, however, has um, just died completely, just completely dead. So not sure what's going on there. So since I've had them, I've charged them along with my other Ry Ryobi batteries on this six-way charger. Um, but the these aftermarket ones. They just never stop flashing and they charge okay, but the, the lights rather than going steady green like this one here, for instance, um, they just flash forever. So that's a bit weird. And obviously they're not quite the same as the, um, the Ryobi's. So I'll say they performed okay for however long that is, um, three years, but um, I don't know what's happened to this one. I was taking it apart. The T10 Torx screws around the edge, one on the top here. So taking this off. Wow. Something has happened to this one, but obviously. I'm not sure is that I'm not sure that's water damage? Or just dust? Obviously I have spilled something on it sometime. By the looks of it, but uh yeah, it doesn't look good. So. so maybe it's my fault that it's failed rather than the problem with the, the unit itself. It looks quite similar to the, um, the original Roby ones up to a point. I mean, this board is completely different, but um, obviously it's got the similar sort of battery pack underneath. And the, my immediate impression is that it's got far fewer components on it. The Ryobi one looks considerably more complicated. There's a button for the uh, test lights. So obviously these are the LEDs that show the capacity and state of charge. I think I'm going to just um, try and clean it and leave it to dry for a start and see whether that makes any difference. So maybe a bit of WD-40 as a kind of lubricant. I think this is actually a makeup brush I stole from my daughter, or more to the point, recovered from the waste bin. I don't know what this stuff is. I've um, so had an extension built recently. There's lots of building work going on and other bits and pieces. I think all my tools have had a very rough time for the last six months or so. Maybe this one got left out somewhere and or sprayed with something. I don't think it just lifts out. So there's a missing screw there. Oh yeah, there's a screw there, a screw there. Oh, so those two screws are missing. So they've obviously saved a bit of money by only using two screws to attach the board. I guess I might as well whip that out. Having got this far. Yeah, this board is held on with the, the uh, straps that connect down to the battery pack. So another one here. That's not going to come off without desoldering those straps. So I might as well stick these screws back in. I say these straps are quite discolored. This one here, for instance, it's got some kind of coating on it, which it shouldn't have. Whatever this got sprayed with or dropped in. I 
check the voltage of the pack. They don't seem to have um, connections to the pairs of cells, I think it is. So it's doing some kind of cell balancing, or at least has the option to do that. And the main straps here and here. So between that strap and this strap, 18 volts. So that's certainly fine. Looks like the battery pack itself is okay. Something to do with the control circuitry. I don't know whether there were any of these um, connections or the board has actually corroded through, broken the circuit somewhere. I'll clean up a bit more and inspect it carefully. Something has happened. Jeez. That was exciting for a minute. I suspect I have wrecked it. Something going on there. <laughs> well, that was exciting. Um, whatever this component was, it says D3 there, so I guess it's a diode. But um, whatever it was, it's um, not there anymore. All I did was touch it with a non conductive brush. Trying to clean the gunge off. So yeah, there must have been something suspect about it. Uh, if I look at the other one, so this is a good one, I'll take this apart, maybe I can tell what that component was and potentially replace it. So this is the good one. And yeah, sure enough, it is a diode. Can't actually, I'll see if I can make out a number and maybe find a replacement and just strap it onto this uh, this dead one. So I wonder if that being on the blink is what stopped it from working, and whether or not that was caused by the ingress or whatever this gunge is that perhaps caused that to blow in the first place. Hmm. Anyway, I'll see if I can find a diode, work out what it is and find a replacement. Okay, so having looked at this good battery, this diode is a M7, which is a high voltage, uh, just sort of standard jelly bean diode. They say it's equivalent to an IN4007, which I do have. So I've soldered one of those in place of where the old one blew up. And what do you know, pressing the test switch, I've got two LEDs lighting up. So on the face of it, it seems to be working again. So maybe it's just that diode failing, possibly because of it was shorted out somehow, or something was shorted out with this um, gunk having got in. But so far so good, that looks all right. So I'll stick it back together and see if it still works. Okay, so that's back together. Probably can't see that, but I've still got the two lights on. So let's try in a power tool. Well, what do you know? Okay, I'll obviously be a bit careful charging it, make sure it doesn't catch fire or anything. But um, yeah, that seems to be a success. That's good. I was on the verge of throwing it away, or scrapping it at least. Okay, thanks for watching.